want to... Make sure they, make sure they fit me. Make sure if I can do it without it... Can everybody hear me? If I talk like this? You don't want the mic? If I could, can I turn that off? Yeah. Fit my face, right? I, just, I think I just shut it off. I'm going to stay right here. It's on. I'm recording myself, so if you guys want to just heckle me, go ahead. Link, yeah. <laughs> well, i got to bring my notes up now. Don't move too much. Lincoln, I will admit, I'll admit right now, was my redhead stepchild. And it was the first one that I was ever on. And I've been on Twitter for three years. I was on LinkedIn in like 96, 97. I was on MySpace for about a day and a half, and then I went to Facebook. So LinkedIn is my redhead stepchild. And, and I, I say that, but now in the last six months, it's really taken a, a forefront of my social media strategy, if you will. A couple quick things about LinkedIn real quick. There's over 100 million users. Sadly, the majority of those are overseas, but we're growing here by leaps and bounds in, in, in North America. Every Fortune 500 company is now represented on LinkedIn. And over 40% of all LinkedIn users make over $100,000. So if that's your market you want to hit, you might want to look at, you might want to look at LinkedIn for that. Let's start with LinkedIn real quick. Let's, let's Talk what you should do to get more following. And I hate to say followers on LinkedIn, more recommendations, more, more networking. You, and LinkedIn is, is great for networking. So let's talk about what you should do. It's 2011. At this point, if you don't have a filled out profile or picture, put your computer back in the box. You don't need it anymore. Come on, it's 2011, people. You should have a, you should, we probably all have digital cameras on our phone. Take a picture of yourself for crying out loud. Not of your dog, not of your kid. You. Let's start real quick. Networking. Stay very client focused with LinkedIn. You know, you know what you want to go after. Go after those people that, that represent your client base. Make sure your content and profile are, are again, directed at those people. If you're, if you're in real estate, talk about the homes you sell. Fill out what, you, what kind of... Um, what kind of person you're looking? What, what kind of what kind of client you're looking for? What what your best market is? Don't if if you're a first-time home buyer realtor, don't go after the half million dollar market because you'll just you'll embarrass yourself at that point. And also remember what also what still on this point, remember what your prospective client is, and who they are, and how what are they doing to find you? And that will hit on more on that down the next later on down the road. Recommendations. Sue and I was talking about this earlier. If you want recommendations, give recommendations. And just don't give them to anybody willy-nilly. If you know me, if you like what I said tonight, give me a recommendation. If you don't, but if you don't like what I said tonight, just shut up and don't say anything. <laughs> uh, but, but, give, but just don't be like, oh, Jim's a great guy. Yeah, I think I already know Jim's a great guy. I actually think he's kind of an ass. So. But it's, you know, say, say what he did for your business. Say, what, say what, he, what he does best. And fill that out. And make sure it's... And make sure it's you're, you're selling him as much as you're selling yourself or selling his, selling his services. So if you want recommendations, give recommendations. LinkedIn Answers. Now, if you guys don't know about LinkedIn Answers, in the far right-hand side, there's a drop-down, there's answers. If you're in marketing, if you're in web design, if you're in real estate, if you're in uh, security, the people are always asking questions. Answer those questions. I know Doug Carr, if you guys know Doug Carr, Blogging for Dummies, uh, Mike Siepel, he does Lincoln, Indiana. These are two guys from Indiana who are always on the top of the list answering questions, and they get a ton of business off LinkedIn. And, and you can also, and I'm not just letting the cat out of the bag on this one, that's a great place to get blog posts, by the way. If you're, if you're running dry, go find, it, go find a question that you can answer. Answer it there, then answer it on your blog. Listen. You know, this is, you know, this is across any social media platform you have, but it's probably more important on LinkedIn. Listen to what people are saying, especially in the question and answers. You can answer their question, but you can also probably sell them a service as well. But really, listening across all of your platforms is how you're going to get more business. <coughs> Choose a networking style. Are you going to be the open networker? I'm kind of an open. I don't care who you are. If you want to be my friend, you want to like me, you want to recommend me, feel free on LinkedIn. I don't, I don't, I don't care. There's some people who will only, only friend their friends, which is fine too. You, you, it's either way, it's however you want to grow your business. To me, I come out of the mortgage industry and the, always, the one line that always was beat in my head, 
the, the, war, the mortgage broker with the most friends wins. So I kind of do that with Facebook, Twitter especially, and now LinkedIn. I will tell you this now, especially on Twitter and both LinkedIn, I don't, and even Facebook, I don't actively now go out and add people. It's the rare occasion that I go and purposely seek someone out. But if you're someone here who's like, oh, I can't believe I'm not hooking up with Mary Sue, then I'll go find her and I'll hook up with her. If I, if, if I, know she, if I see her and answer something, then I'm like, I can't believe I'm not hooked up with her. I'll do that that with time. But I never actively go out and seek anybody anymore. That's, that's just how I am. That's, that's what I do. Now, this to me, this is what I love about LinkedIn is the SEO value of it. You know, as, as now as more and more social, uh, Google's looking at Twitter, looking at what's going on Facebook to build up your links. S, uh, LinkedIn is probably the, one of the best ones for this because if you can type in my name, LinkedIn is pretty powerful. I, it still comes up pretty high and everything. I know what the Savvy Connect that she, uh, Kelly and, and then Carrie and I are doing, LinkedIn's like fourth on the list. So use your, but, and so, so use keywords. You know what people are using to find you. So when you fill out your profile, make sure you're putting that in your, your keywords in your profile. If you want to talk about security, talk about home security. Use the different keywords that let people know that you're in South Bend selling home security, et cetera. Descriptive headlines. Still, go, you know, still goes along with the keywords. You just, just use descriptive headlines. Just don't say, this is my profile. Who cares? This is my profile about internet home marketing or however, however you want to put it. Customize your links. You know, down the side, you can actually, actually you have your blog. And I think it says website and blog. Great. But I put Dave Woodson and Internet Local Marketing as my two blogs. And that's what I do. So that actually now that tells Google, Internet Local Marketing is one of my keywords that I'm going after. Still, it's, it's pretty competitive, so I'm not coming very high for it yet. But it will sooner or later. LinkedIn is, LinkedIn is sending me a link. They, they know my Get You Notice website is known for internet local internet home marketing or internet local marketing. And unique URL. I know with Facebook now when you get 25 fans, I think is what it is, you can now have facebook.com backslash Sweet yeah. Michiana, thank you. So now you can do this with you can do this with uh, LinkedIn almost immediately. It's LinkedIn backslash dot com back dot com I N then your name or whatever you want to do. Make it easy for people to find you. If they're looking because you're Sue Kessum, great. But if they're looking for a publication, publisher in South Bend, Indiana, you might want to put that up there as well. Personally, I don't like that. To me, it just seems scammy or spammy or scammy, however you want to look at it. So I just use my name. But you can also put your business in there as well. You can have a business profile as much as you can have your own personal profile. That's it. Any questions? Yes, ma'am. It is growing. It went from 60 million at the beginning of last year to over 100. But it, it hit 100 million by the end of the end of the year. I remember I started using it. It had to be. It, had early, it, it was 06 when I started using it. And one of the funniest things that happened to me is like you know when you, as soon as you sign up for one of these things like Twitter or Facebook, invite your friends. Well, I invited my friends, which happened to be about 50 real estate agents in Northwest Indiana. I had three come back and say, "Never send me crap like this again." Because they don't get that a lot of people just don't get the power of our of social media, and they really didn't back then in 2006. So the, I mean, really, I said when I said this is my redhead stepchild, it was my redhead stepchild. Now it's probably behind Twitter, my number two over Facebook. But it's hard to, it's, it's hard to say which one's my favorite because I use I'm on all three of them all the time. Um, this this will be this will be made a slideshow at some point. It will be on my site. I do have an ebook coming out about this as well, about 20 pages. So the the ebook or white paper, how you want to classify it, that should be done in about two weeks. How to do it right? I mean, how to how to actually fill everything in? How to put the different spacing to make sure you know make it make it very SEO friendly, if you will. Uh, and that will be hopefully it's supposed to be out in the beginning of March. I'm dragging my feet because I got like 4,000 things going on. Yes, ma'am. It will be my website. It's. It's going to be a twofold type of thing. It's, I'm doing my doing my first ebook, so I can do a second ebook about email marketing. So how when I post on, I post it on my website, I w it'll be part of my you, whoever fi signs up for it will be part of my experiment for email marketing. Yeah. And, <clears throat> excuse me, it won't be about spam. It'll be about how to how to do how do you do email marketing better. Great. Let them, be sure to let us know. Oh, 
I certainly will. You had, you had. I use the free one because it's it's still it works for me. I don't I don't I don't get the benefit of paying twenty five dollars a month for something that I don't officially need. I think every person I'm friends with outside of one or two have the free one. I say friends, associates, if you will. Um, so that will be on my site here, DaveWoodson.com, GetYouNoticed.com. That's E T the letter U, Noticed.com. Any other questions? Thank you. Was that loud enough? Oh, hopefully I will be posting this on my YouTube channel as well. Hopefully next next day or two. Can we get it on? Uh, yep, I'll, you guys can do that. Okay. Uh, I want to make can I make one announcement? Okay. Uh, at the end of the month, of June, uh, June twentieth, eighth, I think, or so, give or take. I'm gonna do two. Um, rebar camp. If you don't know rebar camp, if you're in the real estate industry or you just want to learn about social media, it's very it's gonna be very real estate heavy. I'll, I'll admit that. Is we're gonna have our first one here in South Bend at the end of the month. I believe it's June 30th. It's um, it'll be if you friend me up on Facebook or Twitter, you'll you'll see, hear me talk about it. It's gonna be at the Marriott downtown here. Barry Squalsey's help putting it on, and I'm I'm actually surprised we're doing one in South Bend, Indiana. To tell you the truth, I've been to six, five, and I've spoken at four of them, and this is just a great way to learn. If you're in the real estate industry, June 14th, Savvy Connect, SavvyConnect.com. <laughs> It's a new networking group headed up by Kelly and Carrie and myself. Um, speed networking event? After hours? June 14th, where? Niles River Front Cafe, June 14th, 6 o'clock? It's 5.30 to 8. 5.30 to 8, speed networking event. SavvyConnect.com, I'm very proud of the site. It's still very ugly, but it's growing. And my vision outgrew the, my budget. They will. They will. We will. Yeah, I'm very proud of the Toledo Michiana girls. I just am. Yeah, me too. Yay! I remember, I remember so long ago asking, talking to, you, talking to you on the phone when I was in Columbus, Ohio speaking, actually, and uh, all the fun and rigmarole we've had since then. <laughs> but if everyone wants to see the email, I've got the email if you ever want to see it. I'm, I'm just that bitter. <laughs> or that mean. Thank you.